Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. This week on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, we're taking an in-depth look at bow hunting's newest innovation, the Garmin Zero Bow Sight. We'll show off its incredible features, how to set up the Zero specifically to you and your bow, and we'll go on the very first whitetail hunt with the Garmin Zero. Innovation is something that is a word that you you know a lot of people toss around very easily. Something that's a game changer, once again, something that people talk about and toss around very easily. But honestly, we all know there's very few things that are truly game changing, that truly evolve a sport or an application or an entity or, or any type of services out there. But every now and then you come across something that totally changes the game, that totally changes the dynamic, raises the bar. Three and a half years ago, I was in a meeting at that SHOT Show and a guy brought up this concept and he, he said, what if we could do this? What do you think? I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, I don't know how you're gonna do it. But if you could do it, my comment was to him, it would be revolutionary. Well, they did it. It's called the Zero. It's a bow sight. It's not a scope, you're not actually magnifying anything, you're not sending a light down, down range, illuminating a target, but it's a bow sight that I'm telling you right now, it will change the game. I mean, if you're sitting here right now, and I can tell you as an archer, whether you're a target shooter or a hunter, would you rather have a new bow, or would you rather have something on your existing bow that calibrates and works in conjunction with your existing bow that's gonna make you more accurate? I think everybody would say, I'm gonna put that side on there and go with it. So when you look at the Zero, in a lot of ways it's a similar sight picture than what you're gonna have as far as shape uh, of a traditional you know, sight, whether it's one pin or five pins or six pins, there's a circle there. There's a box on the side of it that's a little bit different, but you've got the horizontal and the, and the you know, you've got your vertical movements on it. You've, you've got all of those to adjust your sight in, in a lot of ways. But inside that box is magic, as far as I'm concerned. You've got a laser rangefinder right there that tells you immediately through the push of a button how far away your target is. Think about this at your fingertip. Push that button, it tells you exactly how far you are away. Now let me ask you this question here. If you could push that button and, and it says it's 26 yards and you let it off and all of a sudden a pin pops up that's calibrated to you to shoot at 26 yards, would you not think that's magic? Would you not think that's the most coolest thing if you're an archer or a bow hunter that you've ever seen to be able to range find it, let it go, and bam, there it is. Now you fast forward this to a hunting application. You spent the time calibrating this piece of equipment. This isn't something that you just sit on there and you go hunting. You follow the directions, you spend the time, you calibrate it, it's tuned to the speed of your bow. You as a shooter, you go out and you practice with it and it's, I mean, it's, it's all right there. The other cool thing about it is, is it's, it's almost got an ethical mindset to it. I mean, it's got a one yard max window in there for whatever range you've calibrated, whatever way that you've set it up for you and your bow, it's not going past that. That's an awesome ethical thing. Now you as a hunter, if you want to take longer shots than that and you can do that, set it up. I mean, you calibrate this thing out there a lot further than that for big bull elk hunts and it's an instantaneous scanning device out there. So if the deer's walking, you're ranging it. If you want to range some bushes out there so you get a good feel of it, you know the deer's coming out and he's, you need to go to full draw, range the spot where you think he's coming, go to full draw. If he doesn't come there and he's still walking, eh, move it your hand over, push the range finder, let it off, and there's your pin. You're ready to go. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. 
the all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, today we're showcasing the Garmin Zero Bow Sight and all its features. So let's look at the first thing one would do once they get their Garmin Zero. Once you get the Garmin Zero Sight, you'll get it mounted to your bow just like basically any other sight you've ever had. You'll set your trigger up where it's comfortably on your fingers, wherever you want it on your grip right there, and that's going to allow you to push the trigger to get the range to your target. Then you're going to have your mechanical adjustments. I like to do those at about 15 yards left and right and up and down, basically like I would with any other bow, until I get everything lined up and configured and I'm shooting a good grip at about 15 yards. Once I get that group all dialed in and I'm really comfortable with my mechanical setup, everything's where I want it, everything's communicating in the bow, I begin to set up my pin sights for the distances that I'm going to be wanting to shoot. Now, these are going to be set up basically for you, so your distance choices are up to you. But what I like to do is do a 25, a 35, and a 45 yard pin to sight. Now granted, I can go out a lot further than that, but that's what I'm initially gonna set up. When I begin to go through this pin setup, I wanna shoot at least three arrows down range. I wanna see my group, because I wanna make sure I'm consistent. I want to, because remember, this sight is not doing it all for you. You're still working with it. But when I do get a group that I like, I'm gonna agree that yes, that's perfect. But when I get some shots that I don't like, say I was two inches too low, I'm gonna say no on the menu. I'm gonna basically go in and then it's gonna ask me how low or how high I was and I'm gonna tell it based on the data from the shots that I did. It's gonna adjust internally within that site, give me a new pin and I'll begin the process again until I'm comfortable and I like my groups and then once I agree yes, that pin's set, saved inside my site, ready for future uses. You know, the Garmin Zero has so many features in there, but one that's very key and very important to a lot of hunters and archers out there is the ability to set up their pins and their arrow profiles to match their specific needs. By that, say you've got a big elk hunt planned and you know you're gonna go out and shoot a real heavy a fixed bait a broadhead, then you wanna be able to know that that broadhead, that arrow, that entire setup is gonna perform out to let's just say 70 yards. You can go in and calibrate your pins and your sight and your bow specifically to you and that setup and you'll be able to save it for that but then during all that time you're going to go shoot your local 3d tournaments or you've got a chance to go hunt the local farm and you're going to be whitetail hunting well in those situations you may be shooting entirely different setups you may be shooting a lightweight mechanical on one or you're going to be shooting a target arrow on another and they all weigh different well you can go into the arrow profiles and your pins and save all that data and you don't have to go reset, retarget, or realign any of your pins out there. You basically have it all saved. You click the exact arrow profile you want and that set of pins that you're going to be using for that specific application will be right there for you, matched and calibrated exactly to you. When it comes to a hunting situation, you always are going to be preparing mentally for what's going to happen out there. How far is it going to be away from you? Is it going to be a close shot, a long shot? When it comes to the Garmin Zero, it really allows you to be able to handle a wide range of situations. A lot of people will take the Garmin Zero and they'll go out and calibrate it at 20, 30, and 40 yards. That's the basic setup that most folks will need. And they'll never think about those high angle, close up, extreme shots that somebody may be taking out there. Well, you don't have to worry about it when you've got a Garmin Zero it's automatically gonna calibrate and put that pin in a position, a place within your sight that's gonna allow you to be successful without having to guess. So many people in those types of hunting situations where you're at a very high angle and you're shooting very steeply down or you've got something really up close, wonder where to hold. Well, the Garmin Zero, based on that calibration effort that you've done, 
prior to this and all that practice to get ready for the zero eliminates that worry because it's going to calibrate it exactly for where you need. Take this thought into mind. You've got a, a game animal, say a turkey down in front of you, you're at a high angle shot, you go to full draw, it's going to calibrate it and not put that pin way at the top or way at the bottom of your sight where you're going to be out of position. It's going to drop that pin perfectly where you need it, where you can put it exactly where you need to be able to pull off a lethal harvest shot and find success. Now, we've only shown some of the features that the Garmin Zero bow sight has to offer. If you want to learn more, visit Garmin.com slash Zero or head over to our YouTube page and watch more videos about the Zero bow sight there. When the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries returns, Wade takes the Garmin Zero on its maiden voyage in search of a whitetail. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by 10 Point Crossbows. Perfection lives here. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. High Vis Shooting Systems, see what you've been missing. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. How do you aim a 36 yard shot? with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who'll come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Now in this episode, we've shown exactly what the Garmin Zero bow sight can do and how game-changing this can be to the sport of bow hunting. So now let's take it out into the field for its first hunt and put it through its paces. You know, the real test of any product is field usage. You've got to get out and try it. And, you know, while we're practicing with this prototype uh, out here, we've, you know, learned a couple things that we've already called back and they're already calling the, the factory to make those updates and changes to it. That's cool. But you got to get out and test it in the field. You've got new electronics for your boat. You got to get out and try them. You got a new fishing lure. You got to go try it. You, you know, you can look at these things in the drawing room and you can look at them on the range and you've got to go try them in the field though to make sure they're going to apply. So as you look at a hunting situation, um, you, you know, in this, this case here, we've got a full moon, we've got no wind, uh, really a tough, tough hunting conditions, but we've got a stand that I've had success on in the past in similar conditions where deer are going to come up this mountain to kind of feed and then go to a bedding area, and it seemed like the best option.
deer milling around there's some deer coming through we've already been busted a couple of times um, i've got the zero turned on hanging to my left and you know just waiting for an opportunity got some young bucks out there got a doe I'm, I'm tempted right now to shoot a doe i need some venison anyway i love venison but i you know it's it's early And we've got some shots of this 12 pointer in velvet that calls this area home. Big chocolate, pretty deer, and that's kind of the one that I'm, I'm hoping. I don't know if the, the hunting gods or what are, are shining on me, but lo and behold, coming from the right, here comes that 12 pointer. You know, the deer kind of comes in, he's doing his deer things, he's milling around out there, and I mean, I've got my hand on it, I'm, I'm sitting right here, I'm, I'm popping a couple of ranges, not even at full draw yet, as, as he's going along, kind of learning different things, and I'm just watching this deer, and we've got some does over here that are kind of stamping and a little bit nervous, and he kind of pays them some attention, and he circles around the brush there, and he's, he's slowly working his way from right to left. And I'm just in position. I've been in position many, many times and, and nothing happens and I've been in position other times where it comes down perfect. When you get in that position, I talk about visual, visualizing what's gonna happen, preparing in your mind, being prepared for that moment. And in my mind, I'm seeing what he's gonna do. I'm going through a new pre-shot routine because there's one extra step. I've actually thrown a couple steps out that I use in my own traditional bow. I've got one new step in here, which is the laser range finder to drop the pin out there. And in my mind, I'm preparing for that. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Protect it or lose it. 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 When I was in special ops, Every item had a purpose, or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me, or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow 6 inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10-point. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. 
that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Now we've ratcheted things up. We're testing a bow sight, the very first time ever it's gonna be used in the field in a true hunting situation for a white-tailed deer. As he's slowly stepping out and I'm kind of getting ready to go to draw, in my mind, I've got my finger on that little trigger to do my range finding. I've already ranged that area a couple times. I'm not guessing anymore. I'm at 26 yards. How many people out there that bow hunt have a 20 yard pin and a 30 yard pin? Well, in between them, they gap shoot. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people go, well, I just held it in between my 20 and 30. And we end up with a wounded deer. We end up chasing a deer. We end up with a miss. Well, imagine now there's no more of that because that's what I've got right here. Probably couldn't have been a better scenario for me to test it because it's in the middle of what most people do. 26 yards. That's what it's showing up. Let it off. I'm at full draw. Leg goes forward. Let the arrow fly. when you get several of them coming through like that. I always shake me up for a few minutes after I get a shot like that. I mean, that's a great 12-point chocolate handler. So he's out there pretty good. Shot felt great. Shooting the new the Garmin Zero. Laser bow sight. I mean, literally, you don't have all that extra motion of racing and lowering your bow. I mean, our license, I'm just shook up right now. You don't have all the other, you don't have all the other times of trying to range. I mean, you just push the button and basically it tells you that was a 26 yard shot right there. Only when he turned bronze, that shot felt great, looked good. Um, it's just amazing what you can do when you have the equipment to be able to line things up in that type of a manner and really take advantage of it. You know, so many sites out there today, you're kind of guessing. I mean, there's no guessing in that type of situation right there. You know, you as the human that may make a mistake, but when your equipment tells you exactly where to hold and where to aim, you just got to do the rest. I think I hit about an inch different than where I was aiming at. The zero from Garmin, put the dot right where it's supposed to. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm watching this deer and he takes off running and he's, he's going over there and I hear crashing going on and this is, I'm thinking, I smoked this deer. But I, I see all this arrow hanging out, but I hear a crash. I mean, I, it, it sounds like a Mack truck ran into a tree down there and it's thrashing around. I'm thinking, well, that's the sound of a deer going down. And you know, it's time to come and get down out the stand. I love to give them a lot of time. We go down there. I didn't expect to see a lot of blood based on the shot placement and everything. And, and you know, we're kind of working around and we ease down the drain, we ease down the draw, gave it a lot of time. He's piled up. Now I'm stoked. I always get excited when I find one. Yeah, buddy. Right there. <laughs> piled up. I mean, that's what we heard. That's what we heard. I mean, that's the stand right there. He came running down that hill and just crashed right here. God. <laughs> Look at this buck. Look at this buck. Oh, man. That's a great 12 point right there. Look at all of that. Oh man, that is the most agonizing time if you're a bow hunter ever, is after you take a shot, you know, waiting to get your hands on them, you always get nervous. I mean, I've done it so many times, but I'm always nervous. Even if I know I just center punched the heart, you know, on that deer there, I could see the arrow. I didn't feel like I got great penetration. Shot hit exactly where I was aiming, 26 yards. And it's always a minute of, of, of moment of just, you just kind of wait and, you know, we're up in that stand, it was dead calm. This guy came in, look at these tines, look at the colors. I mean, he just chocolate. I love those chocolate antler deer like that. Mainframe six by sixes or something, they're just always enamored me. You just don't see a lot of them. And this is a perfect mainframe six here. Each side for a total of 12. He didn't go probably 12 total, or I mean probably 100 yards from where I got him right there.
you know, outfield testing that new Garmin Zero sight right there. And being able to just change and check the distance the whole time I was in that stand, you know, it just makes a total, it's a total game changer all the way around, you know, from the point of being able to watch a deer, the walking and ranging, there's no guesstimation anymore. It pops that pin, that dot up right there for you. You put the dot and bang, you're done. You got them. Wow. Thank you, big buck. That's going to fill the freezer. It's going to taste good all year long. Yeah, that's a great hunt right there. I mean, what a 12 point. You know, first time ever out field testing the new Garmin bow sight and as advertised, I mean, we spent probably about two hours yesterday learning and practicing. I mean, I mean, we had no experience with it. There were several of us in camp. We had Michael and Clark out learning and <laughs> playing with it and going through the paces. And then once we got it dialed in, you could just see the confidence getting higher and higher. And, you know, setting up in the stand this morning, I was just praying, hoping to get a chance at a shooter and to get a deer like this. That's just icing on the cake because I, I wanted to see if this was what I thought it was going to be. It's that and more. I mean, it's that and more. Congratulations, Wade, on the first of many Garmin Zero entries into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.